how to have her begging, begging for your phone number. What the fuck is up? It's Coach Kyle. Welcome back to the channel, man. In today's episode, we're going to be discussing the proper way to get a girl's phone number to set up a date. All right, and before I jump into that really quickly, if you wanna work with me one-on-one, -on -one, click the link in the description, fill out the application for an opportunity to work with me personally. I will be reaching out to you and contacting you to discuss the details. So let's discuss how to get the girl to be chasing you, pursuing you, and asking for your phone number, number closing you, okay? It's a much better position to be in than chasing the girl. And by the way, the only time I'm going for the number and trying to set up a future date is if I can't pull the girl during the initial interaction. Please keep that in mind. Before anything, before trying to get a number, you should be going for the pull right then and there, either trying to bring her on an instant date or bring her to an after party or do something with the girl on the spot. But let's just say that you can't actually do that in this moment we're gonna have to go for a phone number. So how do we do this? And step one is actually very similar to how you would pull the girl, which is you don't wait until the end of the interaction to start going for the close. Okay, you don't wait until the girl says, I gotta get going, nice to meet you. And then you say, oh wait, hold up, can I get your phone number? And yes, she may give you her phone number. However, you're then gonna be stuck in this position where you have her phone number, there was no plans discussed, your phone number isn't saved in her phone, and now you're in this position where a lot of guys reach out and message me saying, hey, I met this cute girl, I got her phone number, what do I text her? I don't know what to text her. And it's really not so much that your text game is even that bad, it's just you're not running the, the initial interaction as good or as properly as you should be. So rule number one, don't wait until the end of the interaction to go for the close. The second I see this girl is showing some interest in me, I can see that there's some attraction, she's showing some indicators of interest, she's holding good eye contact, she's smiling, she's engaging, she's asking me questions, she's participating in the conversation, She may, maybe she's even like filling in some of those silent moments in the interaction. Well, it's just like you go about the day. Oh, active meditation. Right. Gotcha, that's cool. What do you do? For what? For fun? And life. An alarm should be going off in the back of your head saying, this girl is somewhat attracted. There's clearly some kind of interest here. I should start baby stepping towards the close. Okay? So rule one, don't wait till the end of the interaction to start going for the close. The second I see interest or attraction, I'm starting to baby step towards the close. Okay? Rule number two. In conversation at some point, I'm gonna start throwing out ideas that me and this girl could be doing in the future. I'm kind of reverse engineering the date here. I'm trying to figure out, I don't know, what do you do for fun? Because you seem like- Songs, I sing, I am into photography, I, um, I like going on walks, I like exploring. Okay, so you're adventurous. Yes. Oh, that's dope. I'm big into like hiking and stuff. You know, you're either going out to get food together, you're gonna get a drink together, you're gonna get coffee, you're gonna go for a walk, you're gonna go on a hike. If she's into fitness, you could get a workout in or, or do yoga. These are all good activities that you could be doing in the future with this girl, okay? So the idea is that you wanna find an activity that you and the girl both like to do. That way, later on, it makes sense for you to get the number. <laughs> with, your, with your accent, it sounds like so uh, proper. It's good, it's good. <laughs> Have you been to the Highline before? Yeah. Oh, uh, have you? You go to Chelsea Market at all? Or the Highline? Have you been to Chelsea Market? Oh, uh, damn. So you... Yeah, I've been what? around. <laughs> you only been here one year. Have you been to Press Lounge? No. Oh, uh, okay. What see? You see? You don't got all my spots. <laughs> it's. Uh... And by the way, oftentimes I'm picking activities that are close to where I live, close to my house, because ideally I want to go out on a date with her, do something quick, and maybe end up at a second location, ideally at my house or even closer to my house. Okay, so she's shown you some interest, you're in the interaction, you've been discussing several different activities with the girl that you guys may both have in common or something that you wanna show the girl. And by the way, I haven't yet asked her to do this activity yet, I'm just bringing up the, the conversational topic of doing this activity. And that brings us into step three, which is I'm painting a picture in the girl's mind of what the activity would be like with me. It's a rooftop. Huh? It's really just like for the, for the view because it's like a fucking breathtaking view, honestly. I was surprised <laughs> that there was even like that good of a view in New York. So usually I like to walk, I'll walk the High Line and then 
like you can walk up a couple more blocks and then go up to press lounge. So a common example of this is uh, oftentimes when I'm day gaming in New York, I'll ask the girl if she's ever been to the High Line. And for those of you that don't know, the High Line is essentially an abandoned railroad track that they turned into a boardwalk. So it's an elevated boardwalk that goes down the coast of Manhattan and it's got a beautiful skyline view of New York and New Jersey on both sides of the, of the walk. And throughout the trail, there's nice little graffiti arts, street performers, a couple different vendors, they sell food. It's just a good vibe with good scenery. Okay, so you see what I did there? I kind of just painted this picture in your mind of what the activity is. That's what you want to be doing with the girl. You found the activity that you want to do with her. The next step is paint the picture in the girl's mind of that activity. Make it sound fun. Make it sound cool and interesting and be engaged in that, that activity. You don't want to sound boring as fuck when you're talking about doing the activity with her. You want to kind of hype it up a little bit, okay? Because you want the girl to be interested in doing that as well. If you're going to go on a hike trail, it's a really dope hike trail with amazing scenery, great views. Sometimes you'll even walk your cute little puppy at the trail as well. And then you can show her a picture of your dog or whatever the fuck your activity is. You paint the picture in the girl's mind of doing that activity without inviting her there yet. And step four, I'm going to start baby stepping towards the close, assuming she's showing interest in that activity. A key thing to point out at this point, based on her interest level, based on her attraction level, that's going to determine how direct I'm going to be going for the close. Example, the girl showing really high interest. We're talking about the high line and she's saying things like, no way, I've never been there. Or wow, that sounds really cool. Or yeah, I've been there. I fucking love it there. That's a great spot. I was just over there. So I could probably be a little bit more direct in that kind of a situation. So I might just say something like, yeah, I usually walk him on the weekends over there. It's fucking beautiful. You should join in sometime if you want to come. Yeah. Oh, uh, have you? Uh, I was going to say we should meet up over there sometime. No, we can do. So if the interest level isn't as high, I'm going to say something a little bit more subtle. Something along the lines of, I'm actually low-key tempted to invite you to join me sometime. You see how that's not so pressuring on the girl? It's like, maybe I'm going to invite you, maybe I'm not. I'm tempted to. I'm not sure. So the girl won't fully reject me. She's not going to be like, no, absolutely not. You know, she's just going to be like, yeah, I don't know. And if she starts acting that way, I pull away the invite. I said, yeah, probably it's probably best if I don't because like Colombians can be fucking crazy. So like, I don't really know you on that level yet, but you seem cool so far. So what's like something interesting about you? You see how I kind of change, pull the invitation away. It's not a harsh no. And then I kind of smooth it and transition back into um, normal conversation. So if you've done the first couple steps correctly, meaning I've talked about several different things I could do with the girl and I've painted a picture in the girl's mind of doing those activities. It's not uncommon at this point that the girl will straight up ask me for my phone number. What a, what a perfect combo. Mm -hmm. You should give me your number. Um, we can do that. I'll text you. I'll text you and I'll let you know. You'll text me the schedule? Yep. If she's agreed that we should cook together sometime or that we should go get coffee sometime or that she wants to go to the High Line with me and walk my dog, it only makes sense now for us to exchange numbers. So the way you get the girl to be initiating the number close is to already get her to agree to do one of these activities with you. And the way you do that is subtly introducing the idea of doing these activities. And as the attraction builds up, then you start baby stepping towards the close. If all of it's done properly, it's not uncommon that the girl starts asking me, what's my number? Or says something like, yeah, we should just text and stay in touch so we can do that activity. Or she just blatantly say, yeah, what's your number? All of these things have, have happened to me. And if done even better on a challenging level, the girl will be like, are you going to invite me? Or like, are you going to call me? I, I, don't, I, I hope you call me. I mean, we could just text. Yeah, let's just do that, and then... We... Mm -hmm. You should give me your number. Yeah, I would love to. Um, I can give you my number. Okay, yeah, let's do that. We can exchange numbers. Yeah, we could. Now. Yeah. <laughs> so I hope you guys learned something from that. Apply these principles into your own game to get the girl reaching out to you, initiating you, trying to number close you. And if you want to take your game to the next level, join the fucking Patreon, man. There's over 40 hours worth of content over there, as well as infield that YouTube has never seen. And there's a new product I released within the Patreon called Game 101, which is a series of powerful lectures going in depth, explaining every step that you need to know to go from open to close. Me talking about my experiences, my successes, my failures, everything you guys are wondering about and need to know is in that product. 
It's on the Patreon. It's cheap as fuck. It's $10 right now, man. Get on the Patreon if you want to take your game to an advanced level. And if you're interested in working with me personally, click the link in the description, fill out the application, and I will be contacting you personally to discuss further details. All right. Thank you so much for your time. Hope you guys learned something. And until next time, Coach Kyle, signing out. Peace.